Hello everyone, this is Dawn and I hope that wherever you are today, uh, it's March 23rd, 2020, that you are well, that you are connected, that you are remembering the light and the life and the love that you are at your core, regardless of whatever is happening externally around you in your immediate surroundings, in your neighborhood, your community, your state, your nation, and obviously so much happening in our world, so much changes by the hour. This is a corollary follow on from my last video, which I did audio only. I'm sheltering in place in a place that I was not expecting to be and it's um, not the best lighting and a little jumbly of a background, but uh, 12 symbols, uh, C symbols, solace and start. Uh, it's just my way of doodling. And each of those 12 sim symbols, you know, when I doodled them, this all came within, you know, a few hours time and just had loads of information about the seven gates, which I mentioned in my last video, or at least in the description box of my last video called Spectrum. It's, I'll just share here that it's actually seven years, a reorientation, a reordering, a restructuring. I know that this time is not a time when it, even though it appears that you know the gods of confusion are are uh, are uh, ruling over a reigning over our earth, that time has finished, and the time that we're moving into is a time of great promise. That is not to say that there will not be crises and challenges. I believe that um, that this is the first of seven passages and seven gates. We're going to talk about the five pointed star of wonder and the turning of the collective wheel. Um, we're going to talk about the wheel of reordering, the wheel of restructuring, the wheel of remembering, the wheel of recreation, and the wheel of radiance. Uh, it's about all I know right now about that, but there are symbols for each, and again, I'm just going to go through those as uh, I feel guided to share about those. Uh, the name of the seven, these seven um, C symbols that I was given, um, are building the nest, heart of beginning again, the uh, belonging to each other, the flower of restoration, infinite expansion, the dancing star, and strawberry fields. And each one of those um, corresponds loosely to the seven wonders of the soul, which are faith, hope, love, healing, growth, passion, and beauty. The seven wonders of the soul I was given in January of 1997. And for the next uh, five or six years, I was. Just a sec. So I didn't. Uh oh. I lost the connection. <laughs> Sorry. Let me try it again. So, <laughs> that was too funny. So, um, yeah, message incoming. So, we're going to talk about um, those seven wonders of the soul. Those titles are significant. Uh, there's a lot coming through, and I can't quite sort it out just yet. Hopefully, by the time we get there, which will be the last seven days, um, so April 6th through the 12th. Um, which ends um, in Easter. And that's what this is all about for all of us collectively. That's how we can lead the way in love is to really embrace the fullness of our own lives and to, um, in, to, to integrate within us all of the colors, the various spectrums um, that uh, are the various, I'm sorry, the various colors of the spectrum, the various qualities of who we are, um, to embrace all of that and bring it into this new society, rich in love, and offer it up as a gift and receive in kind. As we each do that, there will be no more confusion because all will be fused into a spherical rainbow that wraps us all in an everlasting love. And stay strong, have faith, take heart, and uh, join me if you would like. Um, I will share those videos on lifedailywithdawn.com and my YouTube channel. Uh, take care, stay healthy, stay strong, be love and know you are loved and you are loved.